Hi guys, it's Marie Janelle here. Today we're gonna to be talking about thieves and the product that they created that you will hate. I got a Facebook notification that my friend had tagged me in a horse ad and her comment said, oh my gosh, I thought this was you and Kazi. And so I watched the ad and sure enough, she thought right. So here I am watching myself, my horse, my footage on a fake Dublin boot ad. Let's watch the fake Dublin boot ad so you can see it for yourself. I think my favorite part of the ad is the logo that like bounces all around that says your life today so that nobody steals their footage. I think that's my favorite part. So first I contacted Facebook and I said, hey, this is footage that they stole from me and they're using it on their ad and they're like have no right to it. And whatever, went through their whole questionnaire thing for Facebook and they never got back to me, never responded, never anything. So after I did that, I went straight to the comment section and said, hey, you guys stole my footage, like this isn't cool, like you need to take it down. And so naturally they blocked me from their site and their whatever, Facebook ads. So I was able to see all the people commenting saying, these hoots are so cool, I can't believe they're on sale, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, no, don't buy them, they're not real Dublins. Like that's what I wanted to say, but I couldn't because it was blocked and all my comments got deleted, which is really cool. So I went to the website, Your Life Today, to see these amazing boots and tried to find their email. So I emailed them and I said, hey guys, this footage was stolen, you cannot use it. I showed them the link of my Dublin video that it was stolen from and like said, hey, this is my footage, you need to take it down, yada, yada, yada. As soon as I sent the email, the email came back, like this account does not exist. I'm like, oh, great. So then I ordered a pair. I mean, it was such a good deal, I couldn't mess out. So their site says one to seven day shipping. I ordered these on May 16th. So about a month later, we ended up contacting PayPal because we hadn't received the boots and we're thinking we're never getting these things. Considering they had a fake email address, I was kind of expecting this to happen. We contacted PayPal and we said, hey, it's supposed to be one to seven days. Here's a proof of purchase. We haven't received it. It's been a month. So we started that process with them to try and get a refund. Right at the end of this time, it's been 60 days since the order date, the Dublins arrive. Are you ready for this? I don't think you can prepare yourself for the amazingness of this. I have not opened these yet because I wanted to do it on camera, so here we go. <laughs> what? Just the fact alone that they're folded in half like this is like disconcerting. Let's open them. <laughs> it's only been two months. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like even surprised that they um, look slightly. Wow. Don't you just like the like the plastic? It just looks so good. Wow. Man. Ah. Uh, Yeah, so obviously these are horrible. They're like neoprene on the inside, like a really thin like neoprene feel on the inside. It's so funny because they're supposed to be like genuine leather and waterproof because they showed it in the sink, which was supposed to demonstrate waterproofness. I don't know what that was about. Um, but I mean, look at this guys, like what the heck? Where's that arch support that we're talking about? So this is the superb sewing tech apparently. Wish you could feel how much they weigh cause it's literally like, they weigh like less than my rat does. So it just like goes to show that they're junk. Maybe they're like super comfy because the ad did say that they have 3D arch support 
and they, that helps release foot pressure. Okay, I think I'm going to try them on so that you guys can see what they look like. are literally the worst. Literally four people have contacted me and said, oh my gosh, Brina, that's so exciting. You got in a Dublin ad, how cool is that? I'm like, no, it's not Dublin, it's fake, and they stole my footage. Like maybe you think, oh, this shouldn't bother you so much, like it's not that big a deal. The reason it is is because I've had people contact me thinking that it's me, and I don't want my name attached to these junky boots. And I don't want people losing out on their hard earned money for these junky boots that are like totally fake and it's not honest, it's a complete and total lie, and it's a scam. And I don't want my name on that, and I hate that they're using my footage for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to see that ad floating around on Instagram or Facebook, please comment on there and warn people not to buy these boots. Obviously, they're junk, and nobody should spend any money on them. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Party in the USA.